hey there beautiful people welcome and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how to get this beautiful voluminous roller set on my relaxed hair um, i'm just going to go in with my tgin leave-in conditioner guys i absolutely love this stuff it leaves my hair feeling so hydrated and a little really does go a long way so i'm just going to massage that all throughout my hair from um, root to tip and then go in with some water just because for the roller set i definitely want my hair to be nice and saturated and it helps with the detangling process taking my comet um, castor oil and moringa serum i'm just going to go in and apply that the same way from ends to the root and I really love this product because it leaves the shine you guys will see at the end of the video on my hair so, so nice. Um, and it does not weigh down my hair at all. And here you'll just see me start to part and section my hair. Um, whenever I'm doing my roller sets, I do like to work in sections. That way I can get my placement of the roller just a little bit more precise. So I'm just going to go ahead and section it off in the way that I plan to apply it. I do like to start in the middle when applying my rollers. No specific rhyme or reason, that's just always the way that I've seen it done. So we're going to start there. For my rollers today, I'm going to be taking these snap-on rollers at one and a half and one and a quarter inch. And then now it's time for us to roller set. So just going in with some more leave-in conditioner and water. I'm going to use a fine tooth comb to really, really comb out my hair. That way the roller lay is nice and flat and there's no tangles or snags. And I'm just going to roll all the rollers in a downward motion and then snap um, the clamp onto the roller. I really, really, really recommend these types of rollers for beginners at roller sets just because it really helps with the grip. Um, you don't have to worry about the pins or anything. The magnetic clip does it all for you. And if you're worried about the indentation, don't worry about that because once you wrap your hair, all of the indentations will be gone. So if you're just looking for something easy, um, beginner friendly to roller set your hair with, I highly recommend these rollers. So here you'll just see me kind of continuing the same process throughout my entire head, just working through the sections the way that we separated before, and again, rolling every single roller in a downward motion. So the way that I want my curls to fall, because my hair is in a shorter bob, I really want a nice bump, and rolling my hair this way really helps me achieve that result. If you're trying to go for something else, feel free to play with the rollers to get a different style of curl, depending on your hair length and the end you know, result that you're going for. all of the rollers have been applied I'm just gonna go in with some heat protectant because I am gonna sit under the dryer and just spritz that all over my hair um, and this hooded dryer I got from Amazon I got my timer so we're gonna sit under it for about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 30 minutes depending on you know the length of your hair and all of that um, I do like to use this time well spent. I was going out this day, so I started my makeup while sitting under the dryer. And here we are at the end of the hour, and I think I did an hour and 30 minutes actually this day. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take out my rollers. Look at the curls, honey. It's definitely giving. are really 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 tight which is what I want because my hair 
it short. And then now you guys will see me start to wrap the hair. Just as if I was to do if I was wrapping a silk press, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it. And then once I'm done wrapping it, you all will see me go in with a um, plastic shower cap. You can use saran wrap if you want. I just didn't have any on hand this day. But I'm gonna go on with that after I go on with my powder brush and a soft crystal brush. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to wrap your hair. And then I'm gonna go back under the dryer for a good maybe like five to 10 minutes, depending on how much of a bump or curl you want you know, in your finished product. All right, love, so it's been about five to 10 minutes, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take this all down. Um, sitting under the dryer, you'll see, has really, really, really loosened up those curls, and now my hair is looking, look at the shine, is looking nice and voluminous, and I really have enjoyed doing roller sets, y'all. Like, this has been it for your girl, especially since my hair is relaxed. I don't really see it need to put heat on my hair every week, direct heat I mean. So if I want kind of like the silk press, you know, flat iron look, this is definitely a better alternative and much, much safer for my hair. So let me know, this is pretty much it. I'm just fixing it. If this is a technique you guys would try, have you been doing roller sets? But for me, it's 10 out of 10. That is it, my loves. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know down below what other hair care you'd like to see. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, loves.